Well, the reason I started it was because we went to Eurogamer once with hard lines yeah. in the left field bit. It was like, if you apply and the game's interesting, they'll just give you a spot for free. Yeah. And um, we were like, well, <laughs> we're going to be like in amongst all these other games and it's at a show where most people are going to play Call of Duty or whatever. And uh, how are we going to get people's attention? We don't have a budget. I was like, well, just make some cake and like hand it out for people, slice the cake if you play. Yeah. And it's like, okay, let's try it. So we just did like a basic lemon drizzle. Everyone seems to like that, you know. Um, and then, yeah, it went down really, really well. And um, like I made quite a lot of cakes and uh, like they all went. And then it sort of became a thing. I was like, well, it was effective there. I'll just keep doing it any show I go to. I'll like be the cake guy. <laughs> some carrot cake. Uh, you're gonna see me get frustrated though because this um, digital uh, scales doesn't work. So like it's a miracle that anything actually ever ends up how you're supposed to be. Um, like so that's 179 grams I take them off goes back to zero and now it's 152. <laughs> it's like that's a big difference. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, if we don't win, then I'm going to blame that. So, this is the bit where I always lose a bit of knuckle. So, I get two eggs. Yeah, and it's just, I like this stretch because it's just, just bung it all in. It's got a special little, like, mixing blade, I think. instead of a metal one anyway, but... a good one out of it. So we're going to bang it in and keep our fingers crossed. Sort of middle of the oven. That's actually done. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, yeah, that's the cleanest I've ever seen it come out. Uh, right. It's actually not cooked in the middle, so I don't know how that skewer came out. 
I'm George Osborne. Um, I've been working in the games industry and the mobile industry for a number of years now and it was a couple of years ago I was in a startup and things weren't going brilliantly and I was finding that I needed some way to start de-stressing so I started to bake and I just found that the routine of going through a bake and looking at a recipe completing everything and even doing the things like the washing up just was really calming and relaxing and after I left that startup to go self-employed I started working more within the games industry and I realized like at some point last year that there was this really big gap in like the games industry like event market for something that was just really friendly and something that tied into something that I cared about anyway which was baking you know we've seen the great British Bake Off we've seen how successful that is and we just thought, you know, like there must be a, must be an audience for that. Loading in Dalston, uh, and we just finished up Game of Bake. Uh, definitely did not win. I don't think I lost either. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so after after the end of the last sort of clip, uh, the cake got baked for another like two hours um, because it was that uncooked. Uh, and as a result, it burnt a little bit on the outside, uh, and uh, it was a bit of a disaster. I would say it was probably the worst thing I've ever baked. Uh, but that said, people seem to like the taste of it, if not the texture, so that's good. One of the judges definitely said it tasted Christmassy. Um, I think that's probably just because it's got nutmeg and cloves in it, but there you go. You know, those extra little taps were worth doing. Um, and uh, weirdly, the, 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 the blackjacks were really hard to cut but really soft to eat, so who knows what's going on. Anyway, it was a good good time. Um, it's made me want to like come back next time and do well, whereas but this time I just wanted to like, you know, have a nice cake and I failed. Next time I'm going to come back and I'm going to try and win. I think that's the main thing, the main, main sort of result of the, the evening. Um, but yeah, it's great. They're raising a load of money for uh, special effects. Um, there's a raffle, um, some poor schmo's got to take a massive like cardboard cutout of the Assassin's Creed crew home on the tube. And um, oh, there's a bit of drama at the end. There was like a latecomer uh, right at like nine o'clock uh, who brought three cakes as one entry and they were just absolutely incredible. But I think the judges were probably a bit sugared out by then. So I'm not sure, uh, I don't think it won. Uh, the, the, the gingerbread Paul cake won, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I'm a bit gutted if I'm honest. But next time, I'll come back stronger with like an actual real cake that people can eat. 